The Earth has a powerful magnetic field. One of the things it does is act as an important aid in navigation. This comes as no surprise. We've been using the magnetic field as a navigation aid for at least a thousand years. We're relative latecomers to this game, however. Other creatures have been doing this for many millions and even billions of years. We want to find out how these creatures do it. In some instances, the magnetic field acts directly through tiny self-engineered magnetic crystals called magnetosomes. In other instances, the magnetic field acts indirectly through electric fields that are induced by motion through the magnetic field. This is the same process that generates current in loops of wire that are passed through magnetic fields. One of the remarkable patterns in evolution is the emergence of novel ways of co-opting one trait to entirely new adaptations. Navigation through magnetically induced electric fields is one example of this. Another interesting example is found among the so-called electric fish, which generate their own electric fields and use these as a kind of flashlight to help them navigate around the muddy waters they typically inhabit. As you watch the lectures to follow, I want you to keep three things in mind. First, I would like you to reflect on the fundamental relationship between electricity and magnetism. This is one of those physical laws that living things have exploited to a great extent. Secondly, I would like you to reflect on the structure of the Earth's magnetic field and how materials can be engineered both to sense and to shape the behavior of organisms. And third, I would like you to keep in mind the fundamental relationship between voltage and current and how both can be incorporated into the sensory systems of animals.